Hey YouTubies, this is Amy coming to you with my weeks 34 and 35 post-op update for duodenal switch surgery that I had with Dr. Enox on June 24th of 2015. Uh, on my first consult, I weighed 275 pounds. Uh, on my date of surgery, I weighed 260. Uh, last week I came to you weighing 179 pounds and uh, this week I weighed in at 178. So, uh, actually not last week, two weeks ago. Um, so I'm losing like about a pound every two weeks, which is really slow. Um, and it's definitely the same reason as last time. Um, I'm definitely exercising and uh, getting in good fitness and I'm also eating plenty. So I need to kind of rein that in, I think, uh, if I'm going to uh, wrap up hopefully the, uh, a g the losing phase on a, on a good, on a good note. Um, I mean, loss is a loss and I'm happy with it. Uh, I'm, I'm honestly not frustrated with it because I know I'm not frustrated with the scale because I know why it is that I'm not losing quickly. Um, uh, I don't have that much left to lose and all those other reasons. Um, but also, uh, I've been, you know, consuming, uh, considerably more calories and, um, enjoying myself. So, uh, I want to, uh, finish strong. So I'm going to, uh, try to, uh, limit myself a bit more and go ahead and get down to my 160 goal weight. Um, and then, uh, see about getting into maintenance. I, um, really need to focus on that. So, uh, but overall things are going great. I'm running in my, uh, 10k app and, uh, definitely enjoying that. I would say now, um, uh, most days, I would say at least five or six days a week, I'm hitting 10,000 steps with my Fitbit. So, uh, and I'm just um, a couple pounds away from 100 pounds down, so I will be throwing myself a little party. And I do believe uh, I will be doing a giveaway uh, the week I hit 100 pounds down, so listen in for more on that. I will definitely uh, let you guys know uh, what the giveaway is gonna be and all that kind of good stuff. Um, and how I'm going to organize it. I'll have to check and see how other folks have done it because I uh, haven't really been paying attention to that stuff. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, I'm really happy with uh, my surgery, everything that's happened with it. I don't, I feel like a broken record. Um, but I got to tell you guys, my body... I feel like I have been given a like a sports car or something. Not that my not that my body's that great. I mean, don't 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 read too much into that. But but um, everything about my body was sort of in maintenance or breakdown mode when I was heavier. Um, my knees hurt. I had severe back issues, um, and uh, there were a lot of things I couldn't do. And uh, what I'm doing now is experimenting with all of these things to see if I can do them. And I'm finding out more often than not that the answer is yes. Uh, I've signed up for our local uh, park, community park, offers uh, tennis lessons. <clears throat> I've signed up for like really basic lessons. I've never played tennis in my life. So we're going to find out starting March 8th whether or not I have the eye-hand coordination necessary for that sport. Um, and give that a try. I'm not the best group sport person. That's why I like running. Um, I'm when I exercise, I kind of turn inward and and uh, go into myself and go to a different place. Um, so running is really my thing. But um, I do like the idea of having some other ways of getting good cardio and getting my heart rate up there. Uh, that uh, you know might be more distracting and uh, entertaining. And I think tennis might be that thing. So we'll see how that goes. Um, and aside from that, I am um, puttering away at pottery class. I made my first um, platter. It's like, uh, it's called a chip and dip. And it's like a big platter with like a small bowl that's built into the platter. So you have space for chips and then in the center you have space for dip. I don't really, you know, have a huge need for such a thing, but I was really excited to have been able to make one. This is my third round at pottery class, and so I'm finally moving into doing things, you know, from start to finish on my own and uh, being reasonably proud of the results. <laughs> so I'm not uh, very artistic, but um, 
but I'm having a good time with it. Um, so yeah. And, uh, you know, my, my dogs are getting a lot more exercise cause they do join me on most of the things that I do. Um, and so, uh, I'm excited about that. Um, because my beagle needs to lose some weight. Okay. Um, and I say that not coming from a place of judging. I just want him to be as long lived, as healthy as possible. Um, so, uh, but he's, he's getting kind of a basset hound belly, so it's time to take action uh, and watch the food a little more carefully too. Uh, anyway, um, that's basically all that's going on in this house. Um, I, I'm going to stand up here and try to give you guys like a little bit of an idea of uh, kind of my, my, my body shot, I guess, right now. Um, and uh, overall, like I said, I'm really pleased with how things have been going. I don't really wear much in the way of compression wear for the most part, unless I'm wearing a really fitted outfit. Um, but, or I need a little boost of confidence, like going on a date or something like that. Uh, but for the most part, I, uh, I dress pretty comfortably. I have plenty of excess skin. Uh, my arms, as you can see, have quite a bit of uh, material there to work with. Um, and, but when I sit in one place, it's actually not very broad, um, which it used to be a lot more, <laughs> um, in terms of, uh, actual fat. It's mostly, mostly just skin now. Um, and the same with my legs, they hang pretty badly. Um, uh, and don't even get me started on the belly. Woo. Um, but things are good overall. Body is good. Body's doing amazing things. I'm, do, I'm, I'm exceeding my expectations in a lot of different areas and that's a great place to be and I feel incredibly fortunate. So uh, before I make this too long, I'm going to get uh, the 10 things you don't know about me uh, wrapped up this weekend. She said, really, really believing that that's going to happen. Um, and uh, so I will work on that. Uh, and uh, because I do have a few things to share that maybe not many of you guys know about me, so that could be hopefully fun. Uh, but now uh, for the body shot. Here we go. Since I'm not good at editing, I'm going to just scoot this back and stand up. Let's see if you can get... No, that's nowhere near enough. Okay. Hold on. We'll try... We'll try it this way. You're going to see my weird puppy supply containing stuff. Let's see if that'll give you a better view. Sorry about the craziness, you guys. Uh, no, that's not very easy. Can you help me? Okay, my mom's gonna hold the camera. <laughs> um, if you'll just back up over there, then I'll... You just back up and stand right there and turn it this way. Perfect, okay. Uh, so anyway, um, this is me now. Um, I weigh 178 pounds, so... Uh, if you want to know what that looks like, I am five foot eight, just about. And uh, overall, I mean, I've definitely been happy with the, the tummy and I kept a little bit of chest, although outside of a bra, please don't, it's, it's a disaster. But, um, but everything else uh, I've been really pleased with and obviously working hard to keep the muscle tone up uh, so that there's stuff underneath there for the uh, the skin that did decide to stick around. Um, and uh, that's all I've got. Uh, thanks a lot, you guys, for checking in every week. And uh, I will get that other video made for you this weekend. Take care of yourselves. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.